a very good morning children welcome back to the english online class i hope that you all are well at your home children in today's class we are going to start with a new topic of grammar that is the third topic reported speech what are reported speech we can define it as there are two ways of narrating or saying anything first by using the actual words of the speaker and secondly by reporting what has been said when we use the exact words of the speaker without any change anywhere it is called direct form this is done by enclosing the speech within inverted commas when however the words of the speaker are reported without using the actual words it is called the indirect form of narration the following examples will make this clear to you so let us see the examples the first sentence in the first example is given in direct statement direct speech and the second one is given in indirect speech so here is the first one he said i shall go home so this statement is given here in direct speech as you can see the actual words or the exact words of the speaker written in inverted commas the words are i shall go home so these are the actual words of the speaker which is written in inverted comma so you can easily classify that this is direct speech because the direct or the exact words of the speaker is given here now in the second statement he said that he would go home now this the same statement is written in indirect speech he said that he would go home so here the exact word of the speaker is not given so we call it indirect speech the second example is here i said he has not done his homework now again this is the direct speech and the same sentence how we will write in indirect speech you can see here i said that he had not done his homework now the third one sita said i am not going to school today so this statement is again in direct speech now the same statement in indirect speech how we will write sita said that she was not going to school that day in the direct form the actual words of the speaker has been enclosed with inverted commas and quotation begins with a capital letter as you have seen in the example here as you can see here the exact word of the speaker is written in inverted commas and the first letter has begin with the capital letter in in the in the indirect form the main words are the same but the construction is a bit different the main differences are in the indirect form you can say that the inverted commas have been replaced by the word that is affirmative sentences the comma after the main verb disappears the pronoun pronouns and the tenses are also changed the words indicating nearness have been changed into words signifying distance the direct narration has two parts the first one is the reporting speech and the second one is the reported speech the speech which is outside the inverted commas is called reporting speech and its verb the reporting verb while the speech within the inverted commas is the reported speech 
the speech that includes the actual words of the speaker interrogative sentences end with the question with the mark of interrogation that is the question mark while exclamatory and optative sentences end with a mark of exclamation now the rules for the conversion of statements now let us see the rule number 1 change in the reporting verb the reporting verb said is changed into told added observed remarked promised etc for example as you can see here the first one he said to ram mohan will go so this statement is given in the direct speech when we will convert the same into indirect speech the sentence will be he told in place of said now it has become told so he told ram that mohan would go so now it is the indirect speech the second example is here he said mohan is clever now the same statement which is written in the direct speech how we will convert the same into indirect speech let us see he remarked in place of said now we have used here remarked that mohan was clever now the third one shruti said brother i am ready i am already late so now this statement is in the direct speech now let us change into the indirect speech in place of said in the indirect speech it has been changed into told so the statement is here shruti told her brother that she was already late so remember that the reporting verb said is changed into told only when it is followed by an object if there is no object said will not change rule number 2 changes in the speech introducing the reporting speech the inverted commas are removed and that is placed instead he said to me you are a clever boy so this is the direct speech how we will remove the inverted commas and put that is in place of the inverted commas in indirect speech let us see he told me that i was a clever boy so by removing the inverted commas now what we have put here that rule number 3 changes in the tense of the verb in the reported speech if the reporting verb is in the present or future tense the tense of the verb in the reported speech is not changed for example in the direct speech the teacher says he is an intelligent boy now in the indirect speech it will become the teacher says that he is an intelligent boy so here you have you can see that says has not changed if the reporting verb is in the past tense the tense of the verb in the reported speech is changed into the corresponding past tense that is you can see the example here given in the columns what are the words that we use in direct speech and the words when we write in the indirect uh, indirect speech how it changes let us see the first one is the words in indirect speech that is is am are changes as was and were in indirect speech has and have changes to had was and were changes to had been 
the auxiliary verb will changes to would shall to should can could and may into might the exception to rule number 3 b if the reported speech expresses some universal truth or habitual fact or some characteristics the tense of the verb is not changed universal truth our teacher said man is mortal so the same sentence if we will write an indirect sentence it will be our teacher said that man is mortal the second one is habit he said to me i walk daily in the morning now the same speech we will write in the indirect speech it will be he told that he walks daily in the morning now the next the third one is characteristics he said gold is one of the most useful metals the statement that is written in the direct speech if we will change the same in indirect speech it will be he said that gold is one of the most useful metals rule number 4 change in the personal pronouns in the reported speech pronouns of the first person in the reported speech of the direct form are changed in the indirect terms to the person of the subject of the reporting verb he said i am not guilty the same we will write in indirect sentence he said that he was not guilty pronoun of the second person is reported in report in the reported speech of direct form are changed in the indirect form to the person of the object of the reporting verb for example he said to me you are right now if we will change the sentence into indirect speech it will be he told me that i was right so pronouns of the of the third person in the reported speech remain unchanged in indirect speech for example i said to him she is very clever if you will write this sentence in indirect speech it will be i told him that she was very clever rule number 5 the words in the reported speech expressing nearness are changed into words expressing distance for example the word that is written in the direct speech now is changed into then in indirect speech the word here changes to there today that day yesterday the previous day tomorrow the next day last night the previous night this that these those ago before tonight that night thus so next day or next week the following day or following the following week rule number 6 rules for the conversion of interrogative sentences in interrogative sentences the first rule is the reporting verb said is changed into asked or inquired of for example he said to me will you go now if you will change this into indirect speech the sentence this interrogative sentence will be he asked me whether if i would go whether or if i would go or he inquired instead of asked we can also use the word inquired and the sen- the interrogative sentence will be he inquired of me if or whether i would go rule number 2 remove the comma and the inverted commas in case of questions which are introduced by the finite verb or its auxiliaries is am are was were do does did can may 
will shall has have had etc in which the answer is in yes or no introduce if or whether to join the principal clause with the subordinate one he said to me have you done your homework now the same sentence if we will change into indirect speech it will be he said me he asked me if or whether i had done my homework in case of interrogative sentences which begin with interrogative pronouns or adverbs like which what why when where how etc the first word of the sentence is made the connectivity for example he said to me why are you late today now if we will change it into indirect speech it will be he asked me why i was late that day remember the mark of interrogation that is the question mark is never retained in the indirect form and the subject is brought before the verb as in assertive sentences rule number 7 is rules for the conversion of imperative sentences in imperative sentences the first rule is the reporting verb is changed into ordered command requested advised etc for example he said to me please don't keep me waiting so long the same sentence if you will change into indirect speech the sentence will be he requested me not to keep him waiting so long rule number 2 the reported speech is changed into the infinitive mode by infinitive mode introducing to in place of inverted commas for example he said to me go out if you will change it into indirect speech it will be he ordered me to go out rule number 8 rules for the conversion of exclamatory and optative sentence in exclamatory and optative sentences the first rule is reporting verb said is changed into exclaimed in the case of exclamatory sentences and into wished or prayed in the case of optative sentences he said for example he said hurra we have won the match the same sentence if you will write in indirect speech it will be he exclaimed with delight that they had won the match an exclamatory sentence contains words which express certain strong emotion of anger joy surprise resentment hatred etc therefore these feelings are added to the following verbs thus for example alas exclaimed with sorrow hurra exclaimed with joy oh exclaimed with regret ah ah exclaimed with delight pu pu exclaimed with contempt rule number 2 is first change the exclamatory or optative sentences into assertive sentences and then follow rule 2 in the case of assertive sentences for example he said what a fine bird it is if you will change the sentence into indirect speech it will be he exclaimed in place of said it will be exclaimed that it was a very fine bird the sign of exclamation is omitted and all interjections such as alas hurra etc are dropped follow the rule for the change of tenses personal pronouns etc as in the case of assertive sentences example alas how extravagant i have been
said he. Now this sentence if you will change into indirect one, the sentence will be he confessed with regret that he had been very extravagant. All forms of addresses, exclamations such as good morning, good evening, hurrah, alas, etc. should be omitted but the sense of the sentence should be retained. So children, this was the reported speech that we have completed today. I hope that you all have understood it. Thank you.